After living in Colombia for more than two years now, we want to answer the question of was it worth it moving to Colombia? Hi everybody and welcome back to How to Expert. We are experts here in Colombia and my name is Tasha. And my name is Sam and especially with the current situation right now, we have a lot of time to think about other options, let's say in our lifestyle. And we just recently talked about if we are what kind of advantages or disadvantages there would be if we would want to move to another place. And we're not talking about back to our home country because that's kind of, yeah, I think, probably not really the last, but one of the last destinations. More or less, yeah. <laughs> like closer maybe, but not there. <laughs> exactly. So we were more thinking about maybe another city in Colombia uh, itself or maybe another place in Latin America. I think we are focused on Latin America, of course, because we are now fluent in Spanish. So, I don't know, Thailand or something mm. wouldn't really make sense. It would make sense, but just the hassle of learning another language. And culture too. Yeah, and culture. just the language, yeah. So, we, how we see the lifestyle we would want, and especially with being the owners of a, um, an expat company, we of course know very well which kind of cities are out there in Latin America. And we did a lot of research before moving to Colombia. So cities that came to mind when we thought about if we should move to another place, maybe in the near future, were some, it has to be something similar to uh, Medellin, which would be San Jose in Costa Rica, uh, maybe something around Mexico City. What was the city in Mexico? Guadalajara. Guadalajara and Ayi. I still don't know how, how it's pronounced, something with A and a Y and J. You can write and a, it down. Yeah. Um, and in Colombia that would have been, or still is, Bucaramanga. Um, that's another city which is around a third of the size of Medellin, but has a similar climate and could maybe something uh, be something for us. We wanted to check it out, but then the whole situation, the current yeah. situation happened and now we just have to wait till that's <laughs> over. Um, so we thought about, we want to kind of put you or uh, show you kind of the, the discussion we had and why on what to what conclusion we came and why we got to that conclusion. So I uh, start with, we have a little list here as, all sh as usual. Um, Costa Rica. Sorry. It's Costa Rica. It's like Why the not? one, like the one that comes into my mind first because this is the one most people ask mm -hmm. us about. Like usually when we get like um, clients or people in the comment section, they ask a lot about Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, we've never been to Costa Rica, but we've met a lot of people that have been expatting in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and we've had like we've been through all the research, right? So we researched a lot about Costa Rica too, and it was one of our places we wanted to go to. But we changed our minds because as far as we know, there are, it's not what we are looking for. Like we heard beautiful things about it, but we also heard like um, the places we would like to live in would be like maybe too touristy or maybe too many expats and maybe too less, like less the culture we're looking for, which mm -hmm. is like the Latin culture, more like a Western kind of culture, which is not a bad thing, but it's not what we're looking for. Yeah. And we're searching something, uh around or in a small city or around the bigger cities or something like that and in Costa Rica that would only be San Jose which if you do your research and not a lot of people are very enthusiastic about a topic or a city or a place or whatnot you usually already know something is not really right there or it's it's probably not the spectacular and that's what we got from the the people also that live there that just say San Jose it's it's nice, but mm, not really too too great. And for example, if you hear people speaking uh, uh, talking about Bogota or especially Medellin, you some people hate it, of course, but some people they they just love it. And we didn't really get that from San Jose. Um, a place where people love it is, for example, Mexico City or Guadalajara and all these kind of smaller, mid-sized towns around there. And this would actually be a real option. So let's say um, we, we, we went through the process of what would happen if we would lose, let's say, our uh, long-term visa we have in Colombia. And I think one thing we would do is most probably look at the life six months somewhere in Mexico and six months, of course, here in Colombia. So I think those regions have a lot, lot to offer. 
and a little bit a different kind of lifestyle to offer a little bit more I would say Americanized so more probably car related whereas here in Medellin you shouldn't have in our opinion and you don't need a car um, and I kind of miss that the lifestyle with a car sometimes so that could be an option if you would want to see um, having a little bit more of a uh, a broader lifestyle where you're not just condensed let's say to your neighborhood and that would interest me to Mexico but what we didn't want or why we are not really looking to move to Mexico is just all the, the advantages we have here in, in Colombia which are the lower cost of living of course um, which also makes you don't need a car for example that's that's a big uh, burden on your budget yeah. and just the climate year-round so as long as we have the visa we can stay here in Medellin at least with the great great climate and in in those towns because it's further up north in Mexico you have chillier seasons so if you want to make it let's say year-round we wouldn't really look forward to that but if, as I said if it, it, it would be six months to six months we could choose that uh, season that is better in, in Mexico so I think that could be an option so that's something we were thinking about but overall, we can't say there's like something that is really like bad here or like mm -hmm. a downside of Colombia or Medellin specifically. They would say we have to leave, like mm -hmm. we can't take that anymore. There's no such thing at all. Yeah. Well, we don't know what the future brings because we're still in quarantine and all of that and you don't know what that means for us like nobody does right but at the moment there's just like no reason to actually look into another country just mm -hmm. like to think about like having ideas about mm -hmm. it like the plan b kind of thing but we're not really thinking about moving just like mm -hmm. for you to know mm -hmm. <laughs> um one of those real big advantages is is just as i said the cost of living in our list we have the diversity so if you're inside of colombia um, first of all, the flights inside of a country are always cheaper than outside. Yeah. And in Colombia, you have everything, right? Let's say you go to Panama. In Panama, you have just kind of two different, of course, you have many, many climates, but more or less, it's just tropical. And here in, in, in Colombia, you can have whatever you want. You have the Amazon, which is just pure jungle. You have these big cities. You have smaller cities. You have the Caribbean which is, um, let's say Panama is the Caribbean too, but it's not really accessible for most people because they're not really big towns. Um, and you have all of that here. And many other countries just don't have that. And if you want to experience that, you just have to travel further and uh, um, more, ex uh, not extensively, more expensively. So mm -hmm. it costs more if you want to see the Caribbean, let's say from, I don't know, Mexico or not Mexico, but let's say <laughs> Chile or something. Yeah. Um, that's uh, surely a thing one negative point is we already talked uh, talked about it a little bit is the visa so in mexico the visa is way way easier to get from at least our research uh, than in colombia if if you're not a retiree if you're a retiree like latin america wel welcomes you <laughs> with open arms anywhere yeah. but um if you and we are obviously not and then it gets a little bit tougher in colombia so you have to put kind of a lot of money down and ch or and jump through so through many hoops and this would be an advantage of let's say living in Panama or or in Mexico, Mexico. or something mm -hmm. but as you uh, as you said it uh, it's not really worth it well not at the moment we're not really thinking about it because we're so happy here mm -hmm. so why changing something when you're happy here right <laughs> exactly so i think that's pretty much it for this short video what we have here um if you want to support the channel and if you want to have uh, special access to uh, limited or special access videos we only put uh, we only publish on our patreon channel if you don't know what patreon is patreon is a, a place where you can support creators and where we put just uh, let's say more personal videos if you want to have access to that and support our channel uh, in the meantime we would appreciate that the link to that is in the description down below yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope to see you in the next one.